video of that. Okay. Or something. Sure. Okay. Um, but anyway. Who is, what's, how do you say her name? Oh, Josepha Higuera uh, Livermore. Um, Josepha is uh, Robert Livermore's wife. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, Robert Livermore um, was from England and came to California as a teenager aboard ship. And uh, I think got off on in the Monterey area oh. and um, eventually came to this area and liked it. Um, and that was back when it was um, kind of like New Spain, you know, before Mexico yeah. kind of thing. And so in order to own land, you had to um, be... Hispanic or married to somebody that was and be a member of the Catholic Church. So, so buy something in the Yeah, Walmart? to buy land. Cause, wow. um, so it was after, because um, the Livermore Valley was part of um, uh, Mission San Jose and Fremont's um, land holdings. Oh. So when the missions started, you know, kind of like breaking up their um, land parcels, um, it went into what they called ranchos. And so um, Robert Limmer's rancho is um, named Las Positas, which I think is roughly something like Little Springs oh, in English. Okay. Um, and the genealogy chart over there uh, shows all the different um, other children. And uh, Josepha Higuera, she was married previously, so she had, I think, at least one. Oh, Robert Livermore and then yeah, Fuentes. And one child you know, before, from a previous marriage. Oh, wow. And so, anyway, um, That's he a cute little is, uh, their first house was an adobe and Roughly, Which house is that? Is there a picture um, of it up here? Is it that one? Actually, it's just that. Oh, the adobe. Uh, painting. Um, and then, I forget when, but... Um, well, where was there, that at? It's somewhere between the uh, 580 Freeway and Portola Avenue. Really? Interesting. Um, <gasps> I wonder if that's the one by... Um, I wonder if that's the one by Target, across from Target, where there's still well, like a... Well, that's probably Robert Jr.'s place. Yeah. Oh. Um, kind of, because if you go from, like, uh, down Las Positas Road, and, um, you know, depending on if you're east or westbound, mm -hmm. there's this little overpass that takes you across the freeway on the north side, and... That's um, probably Robert Livermore's place. Oh, uh, but anyway, Robert Senior, um, somewhere along the line, they sent away for. Um, they wanted a wooden house instead of the adobe, and they call it around the horn house because it was kind of like a maybe the some kind of mail order thing came around because there was no Panama Canal yet. Oh. So it came all the way around the horn of you know South America and up to here. And the beams and stuff was kind of a slot and tab thing and they had Roman numerals to match them up. Oh my gosh. Kind of thing. Wow. Um, and that's when they built yeah, um, so the second that's, one. Um, yeah, so it's a two story. Um, that was the their mansion one. that he got her after they yeah. got married, huh? Yeah, well, you know, it's kind of like, hey, you know, we have all these children. We're, you know, <laughs> we kind of like nowadays. You we know, need you a bigger want, place. Yes, the children are older now, and, you know, there's boys and girls. They need their own bedroom, you know, whatever. Um, the other thing is that um, I think he died in, like, 1858 or something like that. Um but the other thing was, um, where was he buried? Because they went over to Mission San Jose in Fremont, and they found Josepha, 
in in the cemetery, which is basically next to the church, but it's like, well, where's Robert? That's her husband. Well, um, over the years, you know, adobe is made out of mud and whatever. Okay. If mm -hmm. you don't um, up, keep the upkeep, it just kind of melts back into the ground. Um, so in the Mission San Jose area, they um, later built a wooden church over the old mission one. Oh, okay. And somewhere they decided, you know, we, we need to replicate the mission. So what do you do with the wooden one? So I think they um, drug it across the street. And when they, um, you know, removed the wooden church, they started, you know, poking around like, you know, Indiana Jones. Yeah. <laughs> um, and they found this, the grave marker. Oh my gosh. And they realized, oh, Robert Livermore must have been a prominent, you know, member of the church because he was buried in the floor of the nave of the church. Wow. So oh that gosh. explains why he wasn't next to his wife and everything. Oh my gosh. Kind of thing. Wow, so and interesting. Um, can I take one of these? Oh, you sure. could come to the, where yeah. are we exactly? Oh, I'm gonna right I'm gonna put it on my social media. So where are we? Oh. we can invite people to come if they want to get more information? Um, well, you know, you can always buy the book called Los Placidas, um, which was um, written in like 1969 or so because of the centennial of the town of Livermore um, okay. by uh, Janet Newton. Um, that's probably you know if you want a thorough history. Okay. Otherwise, you can just stop by and listen to me or something. And where are we right now? What is oh, this place called? Right now, um, we're in the old Carnegie Library building. Um, it's at 2155 Third Street oh. in Livermore. Um, where we have the farmers market in town, yes. right? So um, it's right in the middle market, of the farmers market. Um, we have the um, year-round farmers market on Sundays, cool. um, ten to two. Um, the seasonal Thursday evening, um, about April to October or so, depending on how the farmers and their crop goes, <laughs> um, and that's in the evening. So. And we also um, share quarters with the artists. They have a nice gallery. And there's a local artist right there yeah. having her lunch. So she's <laughs> no, not going to turn see. around. Um, <laughs> um, so anyway, our hours for this building are 11.30 to 4, uh, Wednesday through Saturday. Um, the Sunday um, lines up with the hours of the farmer's market. So on Sundays, we're here from 10 to 2.30. Oh, okay. And also with the Thursday evening farmer's market, um, we have extended hours, so um, that's until 8 p.m. Oh, fun for you guys. No, just kidding. <laughs> All right, and what is your name? I'm, I'm Susan. I'm usually here um, on Wednesdays. Okay, Susan, well, thank you so much. Sure. I'll be sharing this with like my friends.